Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the House of Hades, in the game of Hades, where you play as the son of Hades, trying to escape Hades. Yep. Um, loading screen? There we go, yeah. So how far did... How, I think you're still the best we've gotten with. I've gone farther than I can see from here. Huh, he says something new. 25 chambers. Alright. You're pretty quick, you know, boyo. Just be sure to use that fancy dash of yours and keep him guessing. Don't let him catch you standing still. Dash like mad instead of standing still. That's not the worst advice, I guess. Well, it doesn't tell you, but go ahead, Robert. Alright, so... Ooh! For you, mate. Thought you might get a kick out of this. For me, pal? Awful nice of you, just awful nice. But guess what? I got this for you. Tit for tat, you understand? It deals the deal. Alright, so for that we get a new keepsake. Our first keepsake. It's probably the best keepsake. <laughs> well, definitely good for early game. Early game, yeah. Alright. Automatically restore. It's basically a free death defiance with less a, with less HP. My and since it's our only keepsake, we will equip it. The courtyard of the House of Hades is kept neat and orderly, in contrast to the terrifying sprawl that lies beyond. It's not that orderly, really. All right, and ooh, my third favorite it's weapon. The eternal spear join my pursuit okay so we have a few different things for the spear we have basic how you would expect a spear to work yeah, all right we have a spin attack I believe if you do it at the right moment you get more damage but I'm not sure I think you're right you also have a throw you know you can press either the regular attack button or the Y button to call it back to you and of course, we have a dash strike, which is slightly different. I believe if you get them in, I believe if you time the spot right, it does extra. All right, so let me go back for a minute. Okay. Do we want to give this to anyone else? We have one nectar. I would save it for to show the other thing once you start the run. The other thing. Giving it to somebody inside. Oh well. Okay. Let's go. Escape with spear. There are there is one main type of keepsake, and we're gonna show you what that is probably. Ah, good. This is one I would want to give this to anyways. Do we want to? Yes. Do it first. Lord Dionysus, it's been great getting to know you. Uh, so where is your name? Humble offering. That's weird. No, that is. <coughs> Princely gift there, Zach, and just so happens I got something here I have been meaning to give you. So, new keepsake. You, the overflowing cup. So the short version of if you give one of the gods an Olympus one of these. Oh, hold on. Wonder, man, what's going through your head? I mean, I know you hear me and the others, but it's so damn dark down there I can't hear you at all. Yep, this is why they don't know what's exactly going on down here. You are using spear, so think about what you want with this. I'm going to grab this because the scroll is there. Okay. We have to get it eventually. Yeah. Plus, with the spear, spear is partially about situating enemies in the right spots for you to do the most damage. Okay, so the the overflowing cup. Once you equip it, your very next boon will your very next god to pop up will be Dionysus. You have a better chance for epic. The vast majority of boons are the Greek gods for that. Into the underworld. It's ever shifting Not boons, keeps us. To frustrate his attempts to perhaps map it out. Yep, the you can never map out the it. underworld. We'll see about that. Sorry, I checked that without listening. Oh, no, it's fine. Looks like we have money. We I can, have sh no we can <laughs> show it better later. I'm not great with the spear, so I don't know how good I am going to be at... Uh... You die in Tartarus with the spear. <laughs> On the upside, it has a very fast attacking speed. Yep, darkness. 
Daedalus Ooh. Hammer. This could be really good, depending on what it is. Come you can get quite a few Daedalus Hammers. Also, it does. the spear does pierce. Yes, the spear is great about that. Yeah, it's a little harder to aim the uh, thing. Yeah. All right. All right so what what do we, we got? got? Now to fix up this spear. Triple jab is a great one, but so all of these are really good. But breach and skewer and, and uh, triple are both great. Four hundred percent damage to armor. But this is a great one to have. What do you think? Triple jab? Up to you. What? Because we both will play differently. I'm going to get triple jab. This should work. Oh, it spreads out. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Ha! <laughs> Instantly useful. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Health or pomegranate? Health. <laughs> I almost never go pomegranate. Yeah, there's not much point in going pomegranate because mo stuff falls off as you level it up. Your biggest boost is getting it from level 1 to level 2. As you saw on Robert's first run. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for keys. Yeah. Keys unlock better stuff than treasure. Yeah. You might have noticed the other thing keys are used for. Because if you haven't pointed out, I'm not going to say it. Are you trying to kill him in the slowest way possible? <laughs> I wanted to kill him with uh, hangover damage. No, no, that's the ow. <laughs> Very nice. Two keys. And an Ares. These guys again. This is the mini boss fight we're gonna see for the for the most part. This is this seems to be the most common one. And this is why I like triple jab. That's what you get. Very nice, sir. The eternal spear. I thought it lost. Have you any idea how many lives it drank during your father's glory days? I imagine quite a few. Special dude. Okay, this is our first. I have to point out that if you want to change, you well, if you, you you can get this option. You don't have to, and for the most part, if you pick one, you should probably stick with it. I'm gonna go curse of pain. So every time you do that, if you time it right, you can do doom damage twice with the same throw. Indeed. Just imagine surviving, then it flies back through you and inflicts doom again. Indeed. I think you actually did kill it with that. All right, so viewers, if you're looking for some suggestions on what Robert could do, Athena's deflect attack on triple jab is an all stop for obvious reasons, because all three on triple will deflect. I think I might sell Drunken Dash. All right. Mostly just because I don't think it's going to be all that useful. 
you got to be right on top of your enemy to use it. Ooh, this room. And the uh, spawning towers for these things. Yep, just constantly spawn skulls. Now, you don't want to leave these things alive for too long because they spit bombs. Yeah. They have a name, but I can't think of what they're called right now. We don't have the upgrade for that yet, for what you're thinking about. What's that? The one that has the spit money. Alright, so I could restore health, but I don't really need it. Passive traps deal more or traps deal more damage to foes. Uh, I don't really need any of these. I'm going to save my money. Not even the move speed buff is that great. And I'm going to get more money. No skulls. You're not kidding about how useful this wide movement is. Yeah. Now imagine that with deflect. I really need to stop launching myself onto traps. Every weapon has an upgrade I really enjoy on it. Triple jab is my really enjoy for the spear. Good enough. Oh, you can get infinite jabs if you don't do them. I mean, infinite, uh... Oh, I still have two more rooms. More darkness and more and more money anyways, because kill enemies. Oh! What? Security. A lot more money if you can kill enough enemies. Oh, this room is going to be tiny. I'm in for it. Oh boy, they're armored. The game doesn't always warn you that armored enemies are going to be in the room you're in. Remember, the spin attack is situationally good. I mean, you're. Ow! Oh. Got to hold on. Oh, this could be bad. I need to stop just That's standing there and taking hits. There. You did good. 12 darkness is nice. Oh, do you want to go for it? Yeah, I'm not going for a combat room. That, it's okay. way too early for that. We'll explain what that is the, the next time we actually do it. Oh wait, these are bright stones. Duh. So yeah, Hypno is right. The other one for void stones, I called them bright stones. I love that you can inflict hangover on things that you shouldn't be able to inflict hangover on. Indeed. Like rocks. Alright, we're in chamber 12, which means it's time for this. It's so nice to get uh, a tenth of your health back. Sorry, a uh, uh, hundred? Three one hundred? Uh, I can't get it. So I can only get two out of three. I would go for the Athena and decide after that. No, I can't even get... I can't... Well, yeah, I can. What am I talking about? Just what I need. See, that on triple jab. Because mm. all of that is is deflection. So, more darkness or... I, I have to go darkness, yeah. never mind. Fine day to you as well there, mate. Now let's have a look at your supply, shall we? More darkness. It's too bad we don't have that one ability. Now, stab. Look at the color difference. I love how every weapon changes. Or how every weapon changes with god boots. Well, with two death defiance, I should definitely make it past Megara. Yeah. And there you are again. Lord Hades ought to lock you up rather than let you run amok in his domain like this. I'm sure he'd welcome all this feedback from you, Meg. Or maybe you're just pining for my father's job. I have 
have no envy for your father's position. Besides, I happen to enjoy my own responsibilities. Good choice. Good way to use all of your abilities, honestly. Oh. Man, she's doing this a lot. Oh, you got hit by that one. I like how you are hedging a deflect attack. But she's not doing the thing that would make this the most useful. Oh, there it is. Dang it. Ah, one death to fight. Oh, that hurt. Absolutely. There we go. I did not want to waste a death defiance this early. Oh, well. We I still... almost had her. Yeah, you did good. Of course, when she finally did the move that lets you take out a chunk of her health. This holds some sort of power, but for what? We now have three Titans blood. And no diamonds. Alright, so you're gonna get rid of the junk? Or... Don't mind me. Oh. This could have been incredibly useful if I had another extra hundred. Yep. It wouldn't be enough. Oh, uh, is that what you were thinking about? Yeah. The path from Tartarus is finally laid bare. Far above, the heat from Phlegathon, the river of flame, is faintly felt already even as its dangers lie in wait. Lovely. <laughs> Heading up. <laughs> Cheers. Zagreus is honestly one of my favorite parts of this game. Indeed. His snark is chef's kiss. Getting warmer. Did he say anything new? I don't remember. Have this lie in wait out there, I guess. Only one path, and it's a key. Yep. Hey, the more keys, the better. We need a ton. We do need a ton. We need like 150 to unlock everything or something like that. Yeah. I mean, if you're just going to keep spawning them on this island, I'm just going to keep killing them. And they all just pop up to attack you. Unfortunately for them, I have wide range. My attack range is thick. I really like that it, okay, that it will change the spread pattern to accommodate enemies being closer together. I never noticed that playing by myself. Because I don't have time to notice that. <laughs> I think it just normally does it, see? Huh. Alright, money or all oh, go, go get oh, it. Gotta get the new thing. <sighs> especially since this new thing is useful. Yes, especially if you can, there's about three really good things you can get from this, and they're all great. Really, none of the things you get from that are bad. <laughs> and you deflected the bomb with your attack. I 
mean, if you're just gonna sit there. Ow. Well, I just sat there that time. You couldn't deflect that one. <laughs> I guess you can't deflect it if it's not a projectile. <laughs> Which is, I think, that take me the longest to get about that. Because I thought it was deflecting physical attacks, but I wasn't. Oh, the bomb didn't hit them because they weren't close enough to it. Gust yep. of air. Here it is. This mark, almost like a bat wing. In the name of That's not a bat swing. I accept this message. Yeah, that may just be the only thing he knows. Found you. Good. That means at your service. Pleasure. You are the talk of Olympus. Normally I wouldn't get mixed up, but for you, I'll be making an exception. Now come on, we've both got places to be. Interestingly enough, you'd think Zagreus would know Hermes. Because Hermes is one of the main sources of dead coming into the afterlife. To be fair, mostly he drops them off of the interest and leaves. Oh. Already. Si All three are good. Side hustle is great. Swift strike is great. And the special one is great, too. If you can get an epic side hustle, that's like 50 coins or something every time you enter a room. Room check, real quick, just to make sure. I didn't think we were, but yeah, we still got a way. We still got a ways to go. <laughs> if you see a merchant, just double check your room number, real quick. Yeah, deflection attack is just insanely helpful. That room was over fast. Perfect. And there's some nectar. Is there like a shop in here? That there I may not missed? be. Sometimes I wish they showed up on the map. There is no map. Yeah. So. Do you want to drink? Or do you want to deflect? I'll take my chances with Dionysus. Dionysus has some good boons that he might have. Oh, great. Mini boss. On the upside, I can just stand here because I can deflect her. Yep. Unless he drops down on top of you. I like how you're slowly whittling his health down. Because he keeps dropping into your range. Crushed stones! I believe you can get killed by the combination of being hearing a stone and crushed. Yeah, that hurts a lot. I died to that before. It sucks. I beat them without taking a hit, Aaron. I'm surprised, because even on higher... Even when you really know the game, that's hard to do. Alright, so we got Trippy Shot, Bad Influence, Numbing Sensation. So it's not really a good one in this case. I'm going to take Bad Influence. Alright. You're, you're not going to hit it, but it's good for your list. Well, you never know. I mean, I do do this a lot if there just happens to be three or more enemies in there. True. Damage bonus. <laughs> As you can see, we're here much faster this time. Ooh. <laughs> what did you... I hit them from behind. I was like, what just happened? <laughs> I mean, you guys aren't going to stop me. Just imagine if I had gotten that specific room with those assholes in it. I know, I was just thinking about that. You would probably chew that room up. That room did not stand a chance. You know, I'm pretty sure that's as many as you need to unlock the, even the last weapons. One of the last weapons. I thought I saw a shop. There is. Yes! Give me okay, back. Okay, good. So you're probably at least getting past the Hydra. Possibly. Alright, so we've got more darkness, more treasure, or key. 
More keys. Let's, let's go ahead and get the keys we need. I only have five keys right now. Yeah, we don't have enough for everything. I forgot how much the last two cost for a second there. Oh, hey, look who it is. Hey, it's the regular version of one of these. I can't think of what they're called right now, though. Come die again. You're dead. He just chews with his health bar. <laughs> or his armor gauge. Well, that was a lot of health they just took from me. You didn't have to take those hits. I know, I just. I was just sitting there like an idiot. Oh, well, you're dragging a bone raker into hangover. Sometimes that's the best way to deal with them. Drag them in the traps as they attack you. Merchant, Hermes, and I think... Yep, we're at boss. I only have 150, though. What do you think? You'll have 160. Oh, right. Side hustle. What do you think? Up to you. It is your run. Eh, I won't risk it. I will always jump into Merchant, even if I don't have enough money. Because Merchant is at least two doors of free healing. No urns permitted in this chamber. <laughs> Alright, so we have... We have enough for maybe two things if we don't grab Dionysus. Alright, so I will go for cash. I mean, I will go for health and palm. Power of Olympus. Oh, if only you could upgrade your deflect attack to do more damage. Uh, curse of Pain. Ooh! Should I? Yes, because that's a good one too. Kieran, you've been such a reassuring sight, I thought I'd offer you a token of my gratitude. <laughs> Wait, you don't have to give me something in return. It was a gift. Though, you're insisting, aren't you? I don't know Bone what hourglass. Any, f any items from the Will of Charon that have, a, that have a number of encounters is increased by a number according to the item's level. Yep, it is actually incredibly useful if you like using the Will of Charon. And there are things we said about using the Will of Carol. Just like your stupid heads. Bring it on, pony! You honestly stood there and took it again. Alright, one down. It won't damage it, but it will keep you safe to deflect us. <laughs> oh, they're all the, the, the ram heads. I could just stand back and do this. That's part of the fun of the of the spear. It allows you to be a close range fighter at mid range. You're about to hit a visibility point again. And woo! There it is. Alright, it's time for the fun. Ahead, dang it. The best thing I've seen to do when it comes to Hydras is basically just stand back and take them one side at a time. That's honestly the best way to do it.
There are certain play styles and weapons that will let you take out more than one Hydra head at a time, but that's still situational. Ah, I One need my Death, death defiance. defiance again. I just got that back! Yeah, it's good for you though, it means it came in handy. Alright, final round. There we go. I really pushed that to the limit. I almost used my lucky tooth. Yep. Good. No more heads. Burning my key. We've got a diamond. Those are insane. Also, you get a diamond for every weapon. Yep. Just like you get Titan's blood. Side hustle being useful again. Ooh, that's probably good right now. I'll use it. Let's think about this. Mm. Divine Strike has saved you a lot. Well, I'm not getting rid of my main attack. There ain't <laughs> no way. You see what I mean about triple jab plus deflect is... Yeah, that is incredibly useful. The only thing I have to worry about right now is melee damage. Yeah. And what's coming up, there's a lot of things here that inflict melee damage. Don't forget the, yeah. For all his faults, father did make this place look good. Welcome to Elysium, the home of heroes. Yeah, heavenly splendors of Elysium, reserved for only the most great of mortal souls. Spread forth luxuriantly, all about the fire-stepping prince. You may wonder what he means when he's saying that. Yeah, if you look at our footprints, we actually leave fire behind. Yep. Probably the reason why we're fire resistant and not fireproof. All right, money or hammer? Oh come on, you know which one I'm going for. <laughs> yep. Anytime the hammer shows up, it's a game changer. Bright swords. All right, uh, so we got new enemies to explain. Aaron, explain the bright sword. Bright swords suck, but That's... not as much as other bright enemies. Bright swords, when they die, they actually pop up into a soul that can reform itself into a body. So kill those as soon as they pop out. Bright swords are kind of your run of the mill grunts of this war. Bright. Now we have some bright bows, which are like bright swords, but with bows and do a lot of damage in one hit. Oh. Actually, they're not bright bows. I misslooked. There's yeah, also. Yeah, I don't think they'll show bright bows until later. You're right. There, it's going for it. Good catch on that. All right, yeah, these I... are scatter shots. They're basically shotguns. Deflecting their shot back at them will almost always kill them. Because it does so much damage. Special hits seven foes for a skewer. Spin attack does more damage. Spin attack makes you sturdy and you pulse 40 damage. Uh, They're all spin attack and special. Chain skewer just seems really useful. It is. So we have pomegranate or cash. I'm going to go cash. Cash? Cash money? I'm probably not going to survive the next fight. Not the next fight, but the next boss fight. If you even get to the next boss fight. Elysium is definitely the skill check of the game. If you're not good enough, you'll find out fast. Oh, wow. I just realized what Chain Skewer does. Why? What it bounces mean? between enemies like Chain Lightning. I didn't realize that. I thought I thought it just pierced through enemies and did damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, the butterfly balls. These things are irritating. Meet the worst enemies of the floor. More so than the other thing I hate on this. In this. So you see those butterflies? They do massive amounts of damage. Or, well, they do small amounts of damage, but they fire a bunch. You have a soul about to reform. Yeah, yep. I see it. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Things here take a lot of damage to kill. Okay, so now we have a moment to breathe. Butterfly balls are actually called soul catchers, which do about what you expect. You're done like half health. <laughs> That'll keep me alive a little longer. <gasps> there she is, Robert. Well, it's a new thing, so we've got to go do it. Yep. Oh boy, the Nemean chariots. These things are irritating. Yeah, much like the louts, if they start going, they don't flinch, and they do a lot of damage. But you're an Elysium. Everything does more damage to you in Elysium. Oh, and there they are, the thing that you were talking about earlier. Bright bows will sit back, launch at you, and deal a ton of damage. And like all other bright enemies, will turn into a soul. And if the body is armored, the soul will be too. Yes, that is the most annoying thing about bright enemies. Meet my second favorite person. Several, really. Anyway, in Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. There's a lot of heavenly I, archers. I love that. There are so many master archers in the Olympian pantheon. Yep. Let's see, there's Artemis, there's Apollo, there's... Orion. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch. There's Herc. I'm not like all the others on Olympus. You're really not. Hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. She is probably the nicest person on your list. No, I don't want to trade out. So, you have an extra two percent chance for everything to be critical, or a cast that does more damage than seeks. I don't have a cast oh, yet, so. Like good company to keep. Wow, we didn't get a cast to Lilisu. So, Dionysus with an armored enemy or a pomegranate? I know what this probably is. You might die here. Ugh. Go for it. I kind of want to do it just because you said I'll die. You know what, Robert, this is one of two things. And it's the first thing. The Bowl of Minos. Hi, Asterius. Agreed on both counts. Just passing through, so if you'll excuse me. I will not. Champion of Elysium would never back down from such a contest. Neither will I. Wait, you're not the champion of Elysium. You're the Bull of Minos. I can't imagine who's even stronger than you. Is it Heracles? Tell me it's Heracles. At least they didn't call him Hercules. Yeah, thank you, game. Hercules is the Roman enunciation. I will not. You talk too much, short one. Come get destroyed. This could actually be difficult. Yeah, Asterius is not an easy fight. He also has nothing for you to deflect with the triple jab. Uh oh. I think you're already seeing why he's a problem. You fired that out of nowhere. <laughs> You are getting way lucky on that. Ow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn it, I was hoping I could get him stuck in a wall. You probably got too greedy on that. And honestly, this is still better of the two mini boss rooms. I'm right. Man, it's been so long since I fought. Did you? Finished. Nope, that's the halfway point. Oh, crud. You stood there. <laughs> I thought it was over, because you're not supposed to be able to kill him. No, that's only the, ha that's only the halfway point. He stops at like 10% of his health. Well, I lost to the bull. You still made it to Elysium. 
And I made it here faster. Yeah. This is just now where you died at the end of uh, Asphodel. At the same amount of time. You know what this means though, right? What? Now you gotta make it to Elysium. <sighs> Quick, give me all these ridiculous Kate milestones. The constantly within the house, complaining of their woes <laughs> and seeking audience from any who would listen. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you took on the Minotaur. No way! No wonder you're back here. Everyone knows that he's unstoppable, especially me. Hey, next you run into him, could you get his autograph for me? No. <laughs> no. Nope. hang of it out there, lad. For all our sparring practice, there's no teacher like the real thing. Now then, I have something for you. Oh, we're getting something new. Give me your codex. I can't accept something like this. Please, I insist. I want your love of history to grow, not just your love of warfare. Besides, maybe you can finish out the rest of it. I'm grateful. Press L to open the codex. We have learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll go over this later. Yeah, I mean, that might just be a bonus episode. Back again. You really ripped the lounge to pieces, boy. I hope you didn't get yourself in too much trouble. I'm sorry to have worried you like that. The guilt-wracked monster Cerberus admits to committing the crime, expressing some remorse for having implicated the incendiary prince. Cheer up, boy. It'll be all right. Who's the best three-headed boy? Well, this one, of course. Let's go talk to the old man. Call my chambers a mess. Look at your desk, father. Whatever happened to your court musician, huh? Where's his sentencing parchment work? Suck in Tartarus all because he stopped singing for you on command. My desk is far more organized than you, boy. And if you're so concerned about our court musician, why don't you commute his sentence yourself? Seeing as I haven't gotten around to it yet. Sure, happy to oblige. I'll just ask the house contractor since you're too busy. Contractor, mind locating the court musician's sentence when you get the chance. There we go. And there it is. It costs one diamond. Hmm, we have a diamond. I wonder if that's because we got a diamond. Well, let's do it. In the name of Hades, I commute our court musician sentencing effective now. Oh, um, hello. We got someone new to Orpheus. talk to. Orpheus. The most cautionary tale of Greek mythology. Unfortunately, we now no longer have anything left we can purchase. We didn't get a single thing the last two runs. I understand you liberated me from my eternal punishment. And so I have returned to serve your father here. Thanks. Obvious, you're back. Look, don't get on father's bad side like that and you're going to be fine. Besides, right now I think he's angry with me. I grieve for you, my friend. But if you've come to ask me for a song, why? I'm afraid I must stand firm about my answer. It's all right. Father can't make you sing if you don't want to. Sweet. I wonder where Nyx went. What are your sisters up to these days, Meg? I've not seen them around. We're stretched to both then, as you can see. Some kind of war up there meant lots of business here. I'm left to hold the line and deal with you. Alright. Oh, prophecy fulfilled? What did we do? Well, we'll find out in a second. Alright, so, what kind of rewards do we get? Oh, we got Orpheus out. Tartarus is gloomy enough. Oh, heck yeah, you know what this means. We can go up on lots of stuff. We've got so many new things. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, we're almost done with that, too. Pretty sure it's one for filling the entire codex, but I don't remember. So, let's buy some more stuff. Alright, so... Infernal Troves. Uh, let's get the Urns of Wealth. So, because, of the partly because you keep hitting them anyways. This gives us a reason to actually hit them. Yeah. Underworld Fountain is probably a good one. Since Fountain's not paying us any heed, what say we go with this assignment, Contractor? 
All right, so we'll go ahead and get these two that are really cheap. His name. Not like he's paying any I'll probably get to show what those are, maybe. Your birthright give you better sense. That's always helpful. And of course, the ability to change our keepsakes. For if say our tooth happens to run out. All right, and so we have spent so much money. We got quite a few extra things. Oh, you know what's coming next? It's time to go to the mirror and see if we can buy anything else. Did we pick up much darkness Good. last time? Well, first off, we could unlock the next set of talents. I'd say we unlock all the weapons before we do that. Alright, well, in the meantime, let's save up for another Death Defiance. Okay. In the next episode, I will not be in control, and we'll see how far Aaron can make it on his next run with a random weapon. Quit giving me these highfalutin standards, sir. <laughs> oh, quit whining and just do it. Oh, Bye, everybody. Fine.